welcome to today's video. My name is Uma, I'm a medical laboratory scientist and today we are talking on control and calibration. So over here we have our calibrator. <coughs> we are using a little tool commercially bought from our manufacturer. Over here we have our control. We have control. This is called Elytro. Elytro 1 which is usually on the green cap and Elytro 2. This is on red cap. So let's talk about the calibrator first. The Elytro 2 is actually used to adjust our machine. We actually run it when we're in doubt of our result. Especially after we have followed the precautionary measures listed in my previous video. You have to follow exactly the manufacturer's instruction. On the bottle container, it inscribes 3 ml, meaning that we need to put in 3 ml of distilled water into this container and mix for 20 minutes. This is to ensure that it's properly dissolved before we calibrate. In order to get 3 ml, we use our micro pipette to achieve this. Over here is our micro pipette, already set. 1000 microliter range. We are going to pick 1000 microliter three times and dispense into any can too. Afterward, we mix it and leave for 20 minutes. And after that, we mix it again, ensure that it's properly dissolved before we calibrate. That's it for calibrator. Now we're going to our Elytro. This is our control. It's called Elytro 1 and we call Elytro 2. On the, on the bottle, it inscribed 5 mils. Unlike the helical that has 3 mils, this is 5 mils. We are going to use our 1000 microliter, dispense distilled water 5 times in order to get 5 mils. Mix it for 20 minutes, keep it for 20 minutes and mix to ensure that it's properly dissolved before we run our investigation. It's very important to note that after we have added 3 ml or 5 ml as the case may be of distilled water into the helica or elytro, we have to dispense into small tubes and store in our freezer. This is in order to prevent the frequent towing and freezing of our elytro or our calibrator so that we can ensure that we maximize the shelf life of these reagents. We put it into five tubes and store them in the freezer. We remove only one, make sure we finish that one before we go into the other test tubes. Remember, we have to ensure that the shelf life of these reagents are being maximized in order to get an accurate result. I hope you've learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. See you in my next video. Bye.